Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Haunted Mansion, the brand new Disney spooky film that is out in theaters right now that nobody is focusing on because of Barbie and Oppenheimer. To give you guys some context, before this channel I was never into spooky or scary movies, not even horror films. I'm really scared of horror movies. And because of this channel and because of my growing love for reacting to movies for all of you beautiful people, I got to react to a bunch of Halloween movies. Some of my favorites were Halloween, Scream, Hocus Pocus, and because of that I've grown really fond of Spooktober and Halloween, and so I really love a good spooky movie. And going into Disney's Haunted Mansion, I wasn't really that excited. I didn't really feel a lot of emotions. I just knew that it was a new Disney film that is out right now in theaters, and it's not Barbie, and it's not Oppenheimer, so let's go check it out. If I had to describe this movie in one word, I would just say fun. I am so overjoyed by the amount of times I have gone into the theater this year and had just so much pure joy and enjoyment watching a film. Now I know that the reviews for this movie are actually mostly negative. It's not that the movie's bad, but they think it has nothing new to add. I completely disagree. If I'm being completely open and transparent with you guys, I think this Haunted Mansion is going to be an absolute classic within the next 10 to 15 years, just like Hocus Pocus. And the reason for that being is that this is a Disney movie that acts completely as it was made by another movie studio. This movie is mature. This movie deals with really, really tough themes. It's got some really mature jokes in it. It is really suitable for all audiences. And I think that's why me and my movie buddy really enjoyed this film. What I thought was really clever about this movie is that it blends the supernatural with real life themes of death, which of course, as you guys know, is something that every human universally feels at one point or another in their lives. And because of that, it's something that everybody can relate to. The idea that you miss someone and want them back, but that's never gonna happen. They really cleverly use that theme to also highlight ideas of the supernatural, which then takes this really dark and heavy theme and makes it fun and enjoyable and somewhat light. And by far, my absolute favorite aspect of this movie is just the production design of this haunted mansion. The idea that this group of people now have to uncover a mystery surrounding why a house is being haunted, and they're all trapped inside this house, and the house itself is firstly so beautiful, so eerie, and just, just stellar to look at. Watching this movie was an experience in and of itself because you are going along with these characters trying to uncover the mystery of this haunted mansion, trying to figure out where these secret rooms are and why these ghosts are doing what they're doing without giving away any spoilers. It's so interesting and compelling. I feel like now is a good time to mention that I have never enjoyed a Tiffany Haddish movie. There is not a single movie that Tiffany Haddish was in that I enjoyed and I am so grateful for Haunted Mansion because I finally saw what everybody else sees in Tiffany Haddish, because this movie not only gives her amazing comedic dialogue to work on, but it gives her serious moments that I was just floored by because it was something that I didn't expect from her. And of course, you guys all know how I feel about Rosario Dawson, Ara Soka. I think she's a wonderful actress. And again, she has room to shine in this film. And so does Owen Wilson, my Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Another aspect that I really would like to highlight in a Disney movie is the amount of plot twists that they give you to go off of, I was just absolutely flabbergasted by. And I really hope you guys, if you do end up seeing this film, go in as empty as possible. Don't watch any of the trailers, you don't need to. This movie is really good at constructing a story. I know a lot of people have been speaking about how there's apparently a pacing issue. I didn't feel that way at all. I also would like to give a huge hats off to Disney. I mean, they gave us something that honestly, I wasn't necessarily looking forward to all that much and they blew me away. Disney is really good at making spooky movies that become cult classics, and I genuinely feel that this Haunted Mansion will do so. Apparently, they've done another Haunted Mansion movie back in 2003 starring Eddie Murphy. That is a movie that I have never seen, and I didn't even know it existed until I did some research about this Haunted Mansion. And I know that it's apparently a ride in Disneyland that this movie is based on, I kind of understand why they would make a movie about a Disneyland ride, because this movie felt like a ride in and of itself. 
It's one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in a theater. My entire theater was laughing at all of the comedic moments, and people were genuinely scared at the scary moments. This movie is actually kind of scary if you're like me and anything terrifies you. It's not very jump scary, which is really great for me because I really cannot handle jump scares. It's kind of my biggest fear. And it's just really, really done well. I think this movie is really great. And I wanted to speak to you guys about going to see it. If you guys already watched Oppenheimer and you don't have a hateful agenda against Barbie and you've seen that and you want to watch another movie, Haunted Mansion is the option. I'm really happy for the state of movie theaters currently because there are so many good movies out right now. And it makes me feel so much joy because of that. I think this film is really great. If you guys want to go see a movie, I highly implore you to see this. Even if you wait till it's on Disney+, Plus, this movie is just worth your time. I would say go see it in a theater because the audience experience is really great. But again, if you guys don't want to pay for it, just wait till Disney+. Plus. But don't let this movie escape your radar and don't listen to all the negative reviews. I know that I'm kind of getting popular for having an opinion that's not like the rest, but I do think that this movie is really great. I know not a lot of people loved Indiana Jones. I loved it. And now this is the case with Haunted Mansion. I guess it's just because when I go into a movie, I just take whatever the movie gives me, unless I have any preconceived ideas, kind of like what I did with Oppenheimer. And so again, if you guys really want to go see a movie, or if you have any free time, I implore you to go see Haunted Mansion. If you go in with an empty mind, you will love this film. And I think it's just a really, really fun time for the entire family. I would give this movie a solid 9 out of 10. It is beyond fun. And that's just all I have to say about it. I thought about what I should say in this movie review, and then I realized I was just feeling an inherent feeling of joy and happiness. And that is the most important thing that I want to get across to you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for checking out my review. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.